Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you select Tools and then choose Mail Merge from the menu bar in Word 2000 or 97, your first step is to create a main document. So after you click the Create button, select the type of document you'd like to create. Let's select the form letters, which is a fairly standard choice. This will then prompt you to create the new document using either the current blank document or active window shown on screen, or allow you to choose new main document. Let's click on active window to use the document shown in the background. The next step is to set up a data source from which we'll pull our table information for our form letter. You will need to click the Get Data button in the Data Source section of the Mail Merge Helpers dialog box. Here you'll see the options you have for selecting a data source for the merge document which we are creating. You'll probably already have a data source you'd like to use, so in that option you would choose Open Data Source if that's the case, and then navigate to and open the data source that you would like to use. We'll cover creating your own data sources later, but it's useful to know that you could use a Word document that has a table within it. You could also use Excel spreadsheets or access databases. So select the data source and click open. So after you've selected your data source, Word will probably inform you that your merge document has no merge fields within it and that you will need to edit it. To do this, you can just click the Edit button in the Main Document section of the Mail Merge Helper dialog box to go back to the blank document, or just click the Edit Main Document button shown in the dialog box that appears. Here you'll edit the document by typing in your static information, the things you don't want changing from letter to letter. When you do want to insert a merge field, which is data that's being pulled from the table, you simply click the Insert Merge Field button in the Mail Merge toolbar and select the field name to insert from the drop-down list of fields. When you insert a merge field, it appears in between chevrons so you can identify merge fields from the regular text in your document. Now once you've prepared your merge document by editing it, and inserting the necessary merge fields, the only step left is to actually merge the data with this document. So now we're ready to actually merge the document with the data. And to do this, you may just click the Merge button, which appears in the Mail Merge toolbar. This will bring up the Merge dialog box. And here, you can just choose under Merge To, to merge to a new document, merge it directly to the printer or email. So in this case let's say merge it to a new document which we can then proof and double check. You then can click the mail merge button or just the merge button over to the right to merge it to a new document where you'll see the names of the people one letter for each recipient and you can fix small typos. And then you can simply print this newly created document. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.